evening. It is six o'clock and I'm Natalie Thomas, um, the outreach manager for Small World Yoga and I'm really excited to do my first virtual class with all of you. Um, we will be doing 60 minutes journey into power um, flow. It's going to be awesome for you to breathe and I'm excited for you to breathe and connect with you and really get a sense of grounding especially this time in our lives and just coming back to your mats. Um, a couple things I want to say before we get started is, you know, there's no right or wrong and you're in a safe space. You've created that space for you tonight. So, you know, take it as you need and then also challenge yourself when you want. There's no judging. Um, again, this is time for you to do that meditation and motion, which is your breath with your movement, um, which is why I love yoga so much and love teaching it and how it helps me. Um, so let's get ready to go. Um, again, you're with Natalie Thomas, um, Small World Yoga, and let's just begin. Find a comfortable seat. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and then a long sigh out. A couple more breaths like that, a deep breath and fill up to the bottom of your bellies and a long sigh out. Just allow all of your thoughts to just fade away in this moment, listen to your breath, make it even louder and then exhale, let it go. Feel your seat beneath you And thank yourself before we start just for taking time for you right here in this moment to allow thought into your breath and your movement. And let's all do this. Take a deep breath in together. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Start to focus on something right before you. And then draw your hands to heart center. We'll begin this class with one ohm as a community. Breathe in. Um. Come to child's pose. Allow your knees to get wide on your mat. Reach your fingertips toward the top of your mat. And then sit your hips back towards your heels even more. Deep breathing right here, two more breaths. Spread your fingers really wide. Press down through all of your knuckles. And again, fill up with air. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Yeah, begin to walk out your dog here. Maybe move one leg up. Start to expand your chest towards your thighs. Just bring some subtle movement here. Ragdoll top of your mat. Reach for opposite elbows. Yeah, bring a bigger bend in your knees here and then allow your chest to get closer towards your thighs. Really let your head just fall towards your mat. Shake your head, yes and no. Breathe in. Exhale, fold even more. 
extended mountain pose. Press down through all four corners of your feet. Lift up, look up. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll do one more ohm to start this class. Breathe in. Um, extended mountain pose. Forward fold, empty. Halfway lift, hands to shins. High plank, just step back. Yeah, and then start to recognize your core right here. Draw your core towards your spine. Yeah, press again, press the floor away from you. Breathe in, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Yeah, and I encourage you guys here, especially as we get into these poses a little faster coming up, take your movement and then really allow this to be a resting pose, but then start to bring in your ujjayi, that in and out of your nose breath, fill up, exhale, empty. Two more rounds together, breathe in, breathe out. One more, fill up, let it go, bend your knees, float toward the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain, fold, halfway lift, high plank to low, step or walk back, upward facing, Downward facing five breaths here. And then draw your shoulder blades toward one another. Take the weight out of your hands here. Ujjayi, in and out of your nose. And if you ever need to let some heat go today, just exhale out of your mouth and then start to bring your ujjayi back in. Fill up, empty, bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga, high to low. Upward to downward. Yeah, and just three breaths this time. Put a micro bend in your elbows and your knees. Inhale in, exhale empty, bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain, rise up. Fold, halfway lift, chaturanga. One breath, one movement. Yeah, this is your flow. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Breathe in, empty out. Bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, rise up, look up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Yeah, and as we warm up, feel free to jump back. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose. Nice guys, yeah, hi John Hiskey. Draw your knees together, press through all four corners of your feet, John, and then lift up all of your toes. 
Nice. Now take your gaze even higher. Sit an inch lower. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Right side, warrior one, after your downward. Yeah, and then five breaths on your own to make this your strong warrior, the strongest of your day, maybe. If not, maybe you've already practiced today. But really take up a lot of space on your mat. Wiggle walk your right foot out. Yeah, you want to stack your knee right over your heel. Awesome, guys. And then reach your fingertips up toward the ceiling. Yeah, press down through your feet as you lift up. Nice. Stay where you're at. Breathe in. Stay on your exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Lift up. Chaturanga. Hands to mat. I love warrior. It's just such a powerful pose, especially in these times. Left side warrior, same thing. And then build from pressing down through your feet. Nice, yeah, powerful pose here. Great job, Jason. Drop your shoulders and then lift higher. Breathe in. Stay on your exhale. Two more of these, breathe in. Big breath, stay. One more, lift up, hands to mat, flow through. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Yeah, and then start to bring in your ujjayi here. Start to take hops if that feels good. I see Chelsea doing that right now. Yeah, as we warm up, feel free to express yourself how you need. Bring in that action of play, some sort of fun. You're making me smile, guys. And then deep breath in. Wherever you're at empty, bend your knees, jump towards your hands. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose, one breath, fold, exhale, halfway lift, chaturanga. Yeah, and we'll do the same thing we did, just one breath with each movement. So right side, warrior one, press down, lift your fingertips up toward the sky, chaturanga, exhale, flow through. And again, just like I said at the beginning, there is no right or wrong. You breathing with your movement, left side, continue, chaturanga. All meeting back and downward. Yeah, breathe in, fill up to the bottom of your belly, add that jump of play or add that little kick, raise a leg high. One more breath in together, exhale empty, bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose, fold, halfway, chaturanga. Nice jump back, Mark. Yeah, and then same thing again. Right side, warrior one. Flow through on your exhale. Yeah, and when you're ready, continue on to the left side. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. One more together, breathe in, breathe out, jump. Halfway lift, fold, chair, fold, halfway, chaturanga. Last sun B for the moment, 
Yeah, make this powerful. Really express yourself with each action here, each pose. Right side warrior. Flow through on your exhale. Left side, continue on. Even more expression here. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Raise your right leg toward the ceiling. Bend your knee. Yeah, find some length. Raise your knee up another inch and then flip your dog. Nice. And then breathe in. Extend your arm toward me, toward the screen. Yeah, lift up another inch. You got this. One more breath in. Come back, high plank. Side plank, right. Awesome, Michelle. Yeah, and then lift your top leg if that feels good, or just draw your right eye toward your left fingertips. Something to really just lift up here. Lift your top hip up another inch. One breath. You've got it, Chelsea. Chaturanga. Flow through. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out, lift your left leg. Yeah, find that height, that length again, bend your knee, flip your dog. Yeah, draw both hips in line with each other. Nice guys, press through all four corners of your feet again, reach toward the front. One more breath in, nice, come back, high plank. Side plank, left. Tons of variations here, go for it. You guys are all getting creative tonight. So press down with your left hand, lift up your right fingertips even more. One more breath, chaturanga, hands to mat, flow through. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Lift your right leg toward the ceiling. Crescent lunge on the right. Yeah, and just like we did with those warrior poses at the beginning of the sunbees, really press down through your right ball and your foot and then press down through the ball of your left foot. Lift your torso toward the sky. Deep breath in. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist right. Yes. So good for our spines. I love this pose. We are detoxing what collects on our spine, stress, anything, movements that weren't good for us. So with each breath, breathe in and then twist on your exhale. Yeah, it doesn't have to be drastic, but breathe in and then twist. We have three more rounds of this. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more. Fill up. Last one, breathe in. Open up, warrior two. Yeah, peaceful warrior here. Extended side angle. All right. So take your top hand and look for a half bind here. Go ahead and do it. Take your left hand toward your right jeans pocket or just around your back and then draw your top shoulder up and back. Nice, Chelsea. Two more breaths, breathe in, exhale out. One more, fill up, hands to mat, flow through chaturanga.
all meeting back and downward. Now lift your left leg up really slowly this time. Draw your left knee through center crescent lunge on the left, just slow and controlled. Yeah, set up for powerful crescent right here. Yeah, drop your shoulders, but then lift higher with your fingers. Breathe in, stay on your exhale. One more, breathe in, lift up, draw your hands to heart center, twist left. Rinsing out right here, rinsing out what has collected on our spine, like I said. So breathe in, twist. Two more rounds, breathe in twist. One more. Really fill up to the bottom of your belly. Warrior two, open up. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle on the left. And again, look for that half bind. Something to open up, elevate your practice here. Yeah, even lift your left side body up. Breathe in, stay open on your exhale. One more, nice mark, breathe in, hands to mat, flow through. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Yeah, bring that ujjayi, ujjayi breath back in, fill up. Exhale, empty, bend your knees, jump towards your hands. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose. Yeah, best chair of your day here. Take your fingertips and then just touch your mat. So you wanna bring your fingertips, there you go. Now get right back into your chair, leave your hips where they're at. There you go, chair of the day right there. Yeah, breathe in, bring your hands to heart center twist right. And then bring in the powerful twist here. Inhale. Twist. If a half bind feels good, go for it or open up your arms here. Just make sure to bring both knees in line with each other. Yeah, side crow is an option, nice. So great, if you're in side crow, so cool. And then hop back, chaturanga. Downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe out, jump. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose. Right back when that powerful chair, yep, bring your hands to heart center, twist left, and then go for it. If you opened up or went for a bind on the other side, side crow, Yeah, and then draw your right knee back in line with your left. Sit an inch lower. Nice, Rachel. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Forward fold. Let it go. Fingers to toes. Forward fold. And guys, I love this pose. Bring a big bend in your knees and then lift your hamstrings and your hips toward the ceiling. Yeah, and you wanna loop your peace fingers around your big toes. Shake your head, yes and no. Breathe in, 
Fold even deeper on your exhale. Again, there's no right or wrong here. And then palms to toes, forward fold. So step onto your palms, tips of your toes to the crease of your wrists. And then draw your elbows out toward the sides of your room. Yep, it's also known as gorilla pose. So even bring in the elbows like more toward the sides of the room. And for fun today, because you guys are awesome and you join me, take four steps back, just like this. Yep, really get that bend in your knees, so good for your hamstrings, and then take five steps forward. Press your hands into the mat, crow pose. Go for it. If you're new to crow, yeah, you guys got it, uh-huh. If you have a block, it's a great place to bring that floor closer to you. Yep, deep squat is fine as well. But really go for crow, why not, right? All right, one more breath in. If you're in crow, step or jump back, chaturanga. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain, rise up. Yeah, lift up all your toes again. Feel true north below you. So you want to press through. Yes, press through your mat with your feet. And then take eagle on the right. Right arm under, right leg over. And I don't know about you guys, but I need a lot of balance right now. So I'm really glad for this series lately. Really squeeze your inner thighs together. Yeah, all toward the center. Breathe in. Stay on your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, breathe. Let it go, switch sides. Eagle left. Yeah, and then press your forearms together. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath right here, breathe in. Let it go, eagle on the right again. So we're really just building on what you just did. Eagle on the right. And then draw your shoulders, your shoulder blades toward the back wall. So you wanna really expand your chest toward the front and then draw, so good for your posture, draw your shoulders toward the back. Yep, deep breath in. Stay for your exhale, one more breath, deep breath in. Switch sides. Eagle left. Yep, and then take that momentum, same thing. Now lift your elbows above your heart and then draw those shoulders back again. So good, guys. Two more breaths. Last one, fill up. Let go. Release, standing leg raise on the right. Press down through your left foot and then lift your right leg up. Go for your right knee or your right toes and then just open up. Getting into those hips right here. 
And then draw your drishti, your gaze over your left fingertips. Yep, and then breathe in together. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. Come back to center, keep your leg lifted. Lift it up another half inch. You got this, John. Airplane back. Yeah, and then bring in that core again. Draw that navel towards your spine. Look ahead of your mat. Deep breath in, deep breath out, half moon. If you guys have a block, of course, it's a great place to use it. If you don't, even a book will work well. Um, I've been using a book a little bit lately. It works just fine. Yeah, and then raise your top leg, flex your back foot. Lift up another inch. Yep, reach back, even touch the top of your foot if you wanna go for that right now. One more breath in, you got it. Forward fold. Let it go. Extended mountain. Standing leg raise, other side. Yep, open up and then your gaze will go toward your right fingertips. Bring in your ujjayi, breathe in. One more, fill up. Come back to center, lift your left leg up another half inch airplane, swoop back. Swoop, there it is, yes. We can add some humor in this today, right? Yeah, and then breathe in here. Three more breaths, your best airplane of the day. Deep breath in. Half moon. Yep, lift your top leg up another inch. Maybe reach back, go for it. Touch the top of your foot. Awesome, you guys. Two more breaths, you've got this. Last breath in. Forward fold, let it go. Extended mountain. Reach high, dancer on the right. And since you're at home and you've got walls that you know around you, feel free to take your left hand and press against a wall. Just give yourself some space and some distance if you feel like it, or use any prop you want. But since you've got that luxury, I guess today, something different. And then with each inhale, lift up, lift your torso up. Switch sides. Dancer left. Remember to breathe. Hear yourself, Ujjayi. Last breath in, release. Tree pose on the right. Yeah, and your tree can be, you know, your foot on your calf or your heel, but you can also draw it to the inner thigh and then start to ground down through that left foot Lift up with all of your hands here. Just a big expression. Look up, look back, maybe even a mini back bend here. Start to bring in even more openness. And then two more rounds of breath from this point of expression. Lift up, go back. 
One more lift up, express right here. Release. Tree on the left. And then I encourage you to open up in a different way, maybe hands behind your back on this one. Prayer hands, yeah, like a bind in the back, something different. And then take your drishti somewhere different, maybe a different space on the ceiling or maybe a different spot in front of you. Yep, and then three more rounds of breath to fully express yourself. You can close your eyes. You can open your throat even more. Yeah, one more breath and release, let it go. Come to the top of your mat. Extended mountain pose, rise up. Full breath in, mini back bend toward the back of your room and then forward fold slowly through. Halfway lift, chaturanga, step or jump back. Right side warrior, triangle on the right. So if you use the block or the book, um, maybe bring it in here, I love it right here, just to, it really helps my right ribs not collapse lifts them up, so go for it. And then triangle on the right. Yep, half bind is an option, birds of paradise here. You've got some breaths to really draw the top shoulder up and then draw it back. Nice work, you guys. Two more rounds of breath. Fullest expression right here. Breathe in, last breath. Express on your exhale. Come up, side facing wide leg, forward fold. So just a big straddle, yep. And then fold. I love a shoulder rinse right here. Um, there's also room for your inversions headstand, handstand. We also have another side to, to do with this. So yeah, go for it. Nice, Chelsea, you go for that headstand. I like it. Yeah, and remember your breath in and then fold on your exhale. One more just like that. Breathe in, fold on your exhale come back up. Namaste, front facing, forward fold, pyramid pose toward the top of your mat. And let's do this, take your hands to your hips today. Yep, hands to your hips, and then lift up, mini back bend back, lead with your core as you fold forward. So your hips are still in line, and you're really using the tops of your thighs, the abs, torso, all right here. Breathe in, breathe out, twisted triangle. Left arm down, right arm up. And this is where you're using it all. So your hips are drawing toward the back of your room the crown of your head is going toward the front of the room. Lift up through your top hand. Nice guys, one more breath. Breathe in, expand open, chaturanga. Step or jump back. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, sigh it out. Yeah, make it loud, it's just us, right? Breathe in, sigh it out one more time. Left side triangle. Yeah, bring that openness again. Lift your left side body up 
and then take your left eye to look up at your right hand. Really start to expand your chest toward that other wall now. Yep, half bind here, birds, anything to just really bring that space in. Two more rounds of breath. Last one. Come up and then side facing wide leg forward fold toward the other side. If you've got a small towel at home, this is also a great way to um, use that as a shoulder rinse or clasp hands. And again, inversions are also welcome here. Bring another big bend into your knees, breathe in, and then forward fold. Yeah, we'll do one more just like that. Breathe in, fold on your exhale. Inhale, come up. Namaste, front facing, forward fold on the left. Yep, and if you guys want to half bind here, just like we did with the mini back bend, um, draw your hands behind you, prayer hands, and then start to slowly fold. Nice, Mark. It's all about our hips being in line with each other. Twisted triangle. Again, we're using every inch, literally, of our body here. Crown of your head, draw your hips back toward the back of the room. Press down through your feet. Lift up through your fingertips. Two more breaths, guys. You've got this. Last inhale. Expression right here. Hands to mat. Jump back. Flow through. All meeting back in downward facing dog. Wave yourself into high plank. Yeah, press the floor away just like we did at the beginning of this class and then start to lower all the way towards your bellies. Locust pose. Lift everything up off your mat except the bottom of your belly. Squeeze your legs together. Lift your arms up another inch. Look up. Lower down. Nice, we've got one more of those. So start from where you left off. On your next inhale, lift up, and then three breaths here. Start to really engage, lift up through your feet. Yep, take your gaze up even more. Lower down. Floor bow, bend your knees. Reach back for your ankles or the tops of your feet. Yep, and then come up. If you've got your feet or ankles, flex your feet, lift up. Yep, you guys got this. One more breath, we're only doing one of these today. Lower down. Bend your knees, sway them from side to side. And then come to your knees for camel pose. Yep, camel pose, go for it here. I've been working in my classes a lot on starting with your throat, like as you open that toward the ceiling, it's, it really keeps you in alignment with where you need to go back. So fingertips towards your heels or your lower back, your body is gonna lead you. You just don't want any crunching right here. Nice guys. Yeah, take a couple more breaths where you're at. On your next inhale, start to make your way toward back up and then take child's pose. 
just a couple rounds of breath to ground ourselves here before we get into the back bends. And then make your way onto your back, set up for bridge. And I know with the group that I've got tonight, you guys are killing it. Um, we're gonna do one bridge together and then we're gonna do six bridge or wheels after. This is for you. This is how I ignite my practice. It makes me feel really strong. So we're gonna do these together. Come up for bridge all together. Yep, lift up, lift your hips up. You got this. Press down through your feet. Two more breaths, lift up. Yep, one more lift up, lower down. All right, we've got six more. It's gonna be fun, I promise. Breathe in together, exhale out. Come up, bridge your wheel number one. And we're not gonna hold these long. You can also choose to stay up through all of them. Yep, and then come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Come up number two. Nice, press down, lift everything up toward the ceiling, come down, and then right back up, bridge or wheel number three. Lower down, number four. Yeah, and then who cares? Yell something out that you love about yourself. Just one word right now. And then lower down. All right, if you're practicing with someone, look at them, tell them thanks for doing this today. Jason's like, hurry up, Natalie. And then come up for number five. Yeah, this one's for them. This one's for actually all of us doing this together today. This is community. Yep, and then lower down, number five. We've got this number six coming at you, John Hiskey. Breathe in, breathe out, come up. Last one for five, four, three. Nice, Jason. Two, one. Nice, Mark. Lower. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Feel your heartbeat right here. Happy baby. Yeah, and then take archer's pose. Leave one leg long and then bend the other knee. Really get into your hamstrings here. Then draw both legs up toward the ceiling. Flex your feet. Yeah, bring both legs together. We're gonna get these abs out of the way. Power, power, power. Breathe in and then lower your right leg 45 degrees. Take your hands behind your head. And we're gonna pulse up here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Lower your left leg, breathe in. Come up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring both legs back up, flex your feet, Breathe in and then lower both legs 30 degrees, just 30. Really core work right here, slow and controlled. Breathe in again, lower 30 more degrees. Yep, breathe in, lower, tap your heels to the floor, lift them up two inches, hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Draw them all the way back up. Yep, one more of these. Breathe in. Lower 30 degrees. Breathe in. Lower 30 more degrees. Breathe in. 
Lower your heels, tap your heels, lift up, crisscross your feet for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Yeah, draw your forehead towards your knees. Squeeze everything in. Big hug. Start to rock front and back into high boat pose. We'll all meet in high boat. You got it. So high boat, breathe in here. Stay for your exhale. Breathe in. Low boat, exhale. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Two more of these, you got it. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Last one, inhale, high. Exhale, low, hold here for five, four, three, two, one, lower. Bend your knees, sway from side to side. Just give yourself a little massage on your lower back right here. Yep, and then bring your knees into your chest again. Start to rock front and back. Make your way into half pigeon. If you need reclined pigeon, go ahead and take that. Otherwise, right side half pigeon, draw your right knee towards your right hand. And this part of class is, it's such a powerful part, even though there's more stillness. So really come back to hearing your own inhale and your own exhale. And allow that stillness to Start with the tip of your head and then work down towards your hips just to relax each part with your breath. Take two more deep rounds of breath right here. Fill up again to the bottom of your belly. Exhale slowly out. One more just like that. Breathe in slow. Exhale out. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up. Find some hip circles. And then make your way to pigeon left. And I've learned lately in poses like this that we will always have self care. We will always have the option, hopefully, to breathe, to move, to do that meditation in motion. So as we find the stillness and poses like this, it's just so important to remember that it is a gift and then also allow yourself to really let go here. Bring in the new breath, the new air, the new oxygen, and then send it to where you need it the most today.
Couple more rounds of breath on this side. When you're ready, slowly make your way to a seated position with both legs long. Draw your left foot into your right thigh, inner thigh, and then lift up through your fingertips, really strong, reach up and then fold over your right leg. Allow that ease to come back into your practice right here. On your next inhale, lift back up and then switch feet. Draw your right foot into your left inner thigh. Lift up, fold, nice mark. Inhale, lift up, bring both legs long out in front of you, and then forward fold, seated forward fold. Inhale, come up. Reverse tabletop. Yep, lift your hips up another inch. One more deep breath in, you guys got this. Lift up, lower down, fish pose. Again, if you have a block or a book and love that support in fish, go for it. If not, start with opening your throat again. Fish is an incredible pose, another heart opener. So you want it to not hurt. You want this to be an opening, not a, not a tough pose, but really wiggle your way through to where you find that it is okay. If fish is calling you today, stay here for a couple more breaths. If not, make your way to an inversion of your choice. Shoulder stand, waterfall. You guys can be very creative with being at home. So legs up a wall. Yeah, and then plow can come into effect if you're in shoulder stands, start to release. Yeah, ignite your core here. And then deaf man's pose from plow to deaf man's pose. Draw your knees towards your temples. And then as slowly as you can, start to bring all of your vertebrae down. So one by one, slowly release your legs. Supine twist on the right. Yeah, tug your right knee in, give it a nice squeeze. Yep, let it fall across your body. Come back through center, supine twist on the left. Yeah, make sure both shoulder blades are on your mat. Arms can go wide.
come back through center. Happy baby. If you need any other final pose that you would like to do here on your back, please bring it in here. If not, bring both knees in, squeeze everything in, forehead towards your knees. Yeah, rock from side to side. Squeeze in, thank yourself for being here today. Shavasana. Nothing more to do here. And today with this Shavasana, I'm gonna do just a very quick body scan just to hopefully help you relax even more. So allow your fingertips just to really melt into the floor, the back of your hand, Let each finger just relax onto the floor. And allow your feet to get heavy. Let them fall toward the sides of your mat. Tuck your chin towards your Adam's apple. Feel the back of your head on your mat. Allow your neck to get long. Allow your shoulders to relax. Feel your hips melt into your mat. Allow your legs to just be. This time is your deep rest. Bring some movement into your fingertips and toes. Deepen your inhale. Roll to your right side. And while we're in these last few moments here, keep your eyes closed in a fetal-like position. 
and thank yourself for showing up for you. And in turn, send that same feeling of gratitude to someone that has touched you in some way or has been there for you in some way. Thank them. When you're ready, come to a comfortable seat. Draw your hands to heart center. We'll end this class just like we started as a community. This time we're gonna do three ohms. So breathe in. Oh. Draw your thumbs to your third eye. I thank you so much for sharing your beautiful practices with me. The light in me sees, honors, and respects the light in all of you. Together we say, namaste. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, it was great to practice with you today. Some of you, hi, some of you I have not met in person um, and some of you I have, but what a thrill to do this and we are going to keep this up. Small World Yoga is going virtual for the time being and it was a blast to see you guys. Um, if you do want to donate, I'm sure there's something to the right hand side of your screen, um, but we are here for you. Um, I teach at the studio and I'm also outreach. So you know, really let me know if you have any questions. I'm welcome to stay on here tonight or, you know, anything I can help with, um, you know, in these days of being virtual, um, please feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, and again, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And we are doing these virtual classes every day. So it's gonna be someone new every day. And then as long as we need to do it, we're gonna keep it up. So have a good night. Thank you so much. And I'm staying on if any of you have any questions, all right? Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Chat box links for donating. And then also Thank Natalie Q you. teaches at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. Oh yeah, Natalie Q yeah. teaches at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. And yes, the donating is down there to your right, I believe. Got it. Yeah. Thank you, All right. Natalie. Thanks, Art. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Kevin. Bye, Raven. Bye, <laughs> Chelsea. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Hi. Hi. Thanks for practicing. Bye, Jason. Hi, Raven. Hi. Good job, Raven. I think that's Thank Jason you. telling me the job. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you. A great yogi. Yeah. yeah. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night too. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.